Now then, for those who don't know me, and you've only seen me on um, my socials, my name's James. I run a freelance stone dressing business called Stone Dressing Services. On my social media, I go under the handle of the Orchard Stone Dresser. Um, so I just thought I'd do this video to give you a bit more familiarity with myself, how I started in the trade, and things like that. So I left school at 15, fell into stone dressing, and started on labouring and things like that. You know, loading skips, bagging dry walling. Um, I progressed onto the tools when I was about 17, just dressing new stone, um, just to get used to the tools, jointing things and and then when I was about 18 I progressed onto reclaimed stone, learning the different types of facing stones, backings, I began using a still saw to learn how to cut up and I was on a price, everything in the stone industry working wise is normally done on a price. So I actually found I were quite apt to it and because I was only young and I was on price and I was earning good money for my age, I was like, I like this, you know, and I wanted to improve and I, I, I tried really hard to sort of hone my skills, if you know what I mean. So I did that up until I was um, 25 on price, working new, reclaimed and working on a weekend for extra money for various um, little side tussles and things like that. I then, um, I'd built up quite a knowledge and I was asked to become the yard foreman. So I became the yard foreman. Switching to management was tricky. I was then asked to undertake um, health and safety. So I took on my knee boss general in health and safety, which was a very in-depth, tough, intense two-week course learning the management side of health and safety and the practical side of it as well it was very hard to change that mindset from being a worker to a manager and getting people to buy into it was also tough because people still saw me as that young lad who used to work there you used to work there young lad who worked there and it was very hard to change a culture and it was tough and I struggled, but I passed my qualifications. I became the health and safety coordinator for the company and I implemented a lot of things I'm proud of. And then to help me with the management side of it, I undertook my MVQ ILM level three in the principles of business and management because obviously I said I didn't do very well at school I also gave my functional skills maths and English and ICT, which helped me implement the risk assessment, method statements, PowerPoint presentations, etc. that is required when you're in a management role, running Excel spreadsheets, as well as being the yard foreman in the yard and loading wagons. And all the meantime, I was still dressing stone on a weekend for extra brass and trying to be a husband and um, a dad as well to my children who were young at the time then covid came i was furloughed and spent a lot of time at home and i think it changed everybody's perception around covid and i realized it, it won't for me anymore so i started putting things in motion to think maybe there is a freelance business out there providing my services to stone merchants so i had the crazy idea that i was going to leave after 16 years and I've not looked back since. I now provide my services in Halifax, Wakefield, Weatherby, where I am today, um, Home Firth. I have phone calls pretty much three, three times a week for work. But, and I also started on the socials a year ago and I've amassed a, a good following. I never thought I'd be talking to a camera video of myself working with brands who I work with no cry work is work where and it just shows that when you put your mind to something you can achieve it and it's one year to the day next week since I left and started on my own so this is just um to so people familiarize themselves with me and understand me a bit more 
is I look to build that relationship up with my followers and with um, subscribers and things like that. But I don't like to call them followers, subscribers. I just want people to understand me and it will help them understand the stone industry a bit more. So thank you very much if you've watched this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you and have a good day.